Many people think of ice cream as a modern food, because freezing technology is relatively recent. But mankind has been enjoying ice cream for thousands of years. If you want to know where it came from and who invented it, keep watching! This cool treat has a long history. It began around 4 to 500 BC in the Persian Empire. In those distant times, people poured grape juice concentrate over ice, and it didn't resemble the true ice cream, but more like fruit ice. The Persians then invented an ice cream-like dessert made with cooked vermicelli, sugar syrup, rose water and lime juice. With all these ingredients mixed, they were then frozen in ice. Ice was taken from nearby mountains, but how was it stored in a hot desert climate? It turns out that for this, Persian engineers had developed a domed ice house known as Yechchal. A large subterranean space with a deep well was used for ice storage. After the conquest of Persia by Alexander the Great, he especially enjoyed eating a frozen dessert flavored with honey and nectar. Apparently, ice cream was also known in neighboring Egypt, where rice and snow were also used to cool drinks. In China, people created another variation of ice cream made of overcooked rice, spices and milk, packed in snow to cool and used as a refreshing summer treat. Roman Emperor Nero loved fruit juices with ice and sent teams of slaves to the Alps for fresh snow and ice for his drinks. But these are myths, rather than true historical facts. Apparently, a dairy-based dessert most similar to ice cream as we know it was first made in ancient China. To produce it, milk was heated and allowed to ferment. This yogurt was then mixed with flour for thickening, poured into metal tubes and placed into an ice or snow pool until frozen. Camphor was added to the dish for flavor before it was served. It's an aromatic substance extracted from evergreen trees. It is believed that the explorer Marco Polo picked up on the Chinese method of producing ice cream and introduced it back in Italy upon his return. Italian cooks first made simple frozen drinks, which they called sorbetto. Soon after this, more flavors were used, including ice mixed with milk, honey and fruits. Then local cooks replaced milk with sweetened cream, turning traditional Chinese milk ice into the world's first true ice cream. After Italy, the success of ice cream spread to France, where the recipe was modified with the addition of egg yolks. From France, ice cream arrived to England. King Charles I was the first British monarch who is known to have eaten ice cream. He even built an ice house in the center of London. In 1686, a Sicilian, Francesco Procopio, opened a cafe in Paris with a wide choice of up to 80 different varieties of ice cream. By 1744, ice cream had made its way to America, where the founding fathers of the United States, such as Benjamin Franklin, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, were very fond of this dessert. Legend has it that one summer, George Washington spent $200 on ice cream alone. That's nearly $5,000 today. In 1846, Nancy Johnson invented a hand-cranked freezer. This device was improved 80 years later, bringing the production of ice cream to a new level. In the early 20th century, people were still eating frozen cream treats from bowls and plates. The first true edible cone was made in 1904, and these rolled cones became wildly popular at once. Ice cream played a crucial role in maintaining high morale among American soldiers throughout the Second World War. Some barges and planes were even repurposed to produce ice cream. Freeze-dried ice cream for astronauts was developed by the Whirlpool Corporation for NASA in the 1960s. Today, ice cream is enjoyed on all continents. The Japanese variety looks like small ice cream balls encased in sticky rice dough. Kulfi is the Indian version of ice cream, with the addition of white bread. Rolled ice cream is a popular treat in Thailand. German ice cream is made to look like a plate of spaghetti. There is also a kind of ice cream that is black in color. And the most expensive frozen dessert is made from edible gold. 
Well, that's about it. Now you know the history of ice cream. This great invention has no specific date of origin or inventor to give credit to. It is more like ice cream has arisen over the millennia as the fruit of a joint human effort. Bye everyone! See you next time!